Um, we are an art group uh, founded in 2003. Three. That's uh, long ago. We recognized right now that our works are uh, really old for media art, I think. Uh, I think it's, it's a long time since uh, our first work uh, uh, was done. Um, we both started at the University of Applied Art in Vienna uh, at Peter, Peter Weibel and uh, Tom Fürstner. Uh, and our first work, uh, it was just a performance. And uh, Emmanuel will show a video in a few seconds. And maybe just a general thing, like all the oxygen is out of the room. Uh, we will keep this really short. We just show a few videos. Um, any questions are welcome. We will answer them afterwards. So as Christian mentioned, uh, we met in at university. Um, the short version is we started to make a performance together, and out of this performance, uh, all the other works kind of created. Uh, we started to short circuit computers, uh, old computers, uh, uh, and it it's like a circuit bending work, and there's so a nice output. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have to preload this video. I don't know why it's so slow. Um, the idea is uh, to take an uh, audio signal and put it directly to the hardware of the computer, meaning uh, we take the amplified output out of, uh, out of a stereo amp, um, strip the cables, and put them directly to the graf graphics board. This, of course, kind of uh, disturbs the graphics board. It, at a certain point, it destroys it. But until this point, uh, the output is kind of interesting because um, you can't control it. It's a pure output by error. Why is the internet so slow? Stop your torrents. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Just one moment. <laughs> OK, I'll just start with the pictures. Um, to give you an idea how the output looks like. Uh, these um, pictures in the back are created just by short-circuiting the, the graphics board. Um, the performance worked pretty well. This, for example, was in Norway. Uh, we were, this was our first, I don't know, first getting in touch with the uh, media art festival scene. And it brought us, I don't know, France, Spain, Norway. So it was a nice experience to be invited to have a performance. Come on. Das ist nicht lokal, ne? I'll preload another video because this started huh So to give you an idea how the performance worked, 
Um, as, we, as I said before, we have the audio signal from the amplifier putting it to the computer on the graphics board. At some point, the computer crashes. Um, so, so, for example, I have it on my uh, I have the signal. It crashes. I switch to Christian. Then I replace the graphics board to see if the computer still works. If it doesn't, I replace the computer. In the meanwhile, Christian's machine shouldn't crash because then we would be out of signal. So this is what you what is uh, here. The next problem that we we had is uh, we just used old computers like uh, 30, uh, 386 or 486 because they ha all have these old uh, graphic cards. Uh, if you uh, want to uh, make this with the new NVIDIA, whatever, you will it will crash in a second because they have all those small chips inside. But you see the nice graphic chips on the old uh, graphic cards and it, it's really funny to destroy them. Yeah. Um, the next uh, thing we did then is uh, to build a robot uh, that short circuits itself. That was the next part of uh, our uh, installation. So uh, the computer is short circuiting itself and producing the images for us. So we don't have to do anything and it was just random. So what you have is this machine with the robot on top and the computer controlling the robot on top of it. Or the, the only thing that the robot could do was position itself and go down with the brush, again uh, hitting the main board and the graphics board of the computer, creating these pictures. Um, now these pictures are created by the machine itself. There is no human, human input. So this kind of raises the question of the artist because uh, the pictures, as I will show you later, uh, were shown in galleries and museums all over Europe. So you can call them art because it's, institu it's institutionalized. So, but there wasn't a human, like no hum human determined. If there is one thing computers can't do, it's being creative. So yeah, this question shows up again, a short video. And pre-Arduino time, so. <laughs> No Windows installed. It's just DOS, and it's a DOS program, so <laughs> it all ran from a floppy disk. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember <laughs> this huge ones. Huh? One sec. Okay. Well, what, what was the next work? I uh, oh, our final works. Yeah. You start. Yeah, I start. Uh, this is my uh, diploma work. Uh, it's uh, Grow Fruits of Chronos. It's a machine uh, where a plant is uh, set inside. You, you can see it. It's a, a sunflower. Uh, the idea is uh, to change uh, the form of the plant because most of the plants grow uh, away from gravity and into to the sunlight. So if I change the position of the plant, I can change the form of the plant. I think, and that was the idea behind uh, the work. Also, the algorithm will be shown in the form of the plan. For me, I mean, I'm just interpreting it. This is solo his work. But for me, a strong point of this work is that uh, the algorithm is manifested in the growth of a plant. So, yeah. yeah. So the algorithm controls what? It, it was just a random algorithm. You can, the, the ring is turning. Yeah, and it's changing the position of the plant, so it's turning 360 degrees. So it's rotating, and, and it's turning. also rotating. And I have a, a fixed uh, uh, a light source. Yeah, and uh, you, then you change the growth of the plant because it's always positioning away from gravity yeah, and, and to the sunlight. Always wants to go to the if I turn it 180 degrees, it just uh, makes a, a, a half circle and grows up. Okay. So you can. Uh, 
you will see see the form I explained in my English sucks, I'm sorry. <laughs> so let's also preload this. Um. Um, my final diploma, the, the idea of my final diploma used a similar approach uh, like the shock bot. Uh, the idea was to have the self-fulfilling prophecy as an object. Uh, in order to do so, I used, as I said before, the same method like the shock bot. I short-circuited hardware of the computer in order to create a malfunction. I show a short introduction video. <laughs> I have to explain. Um, you saw uh, the, the the location where you had to put your hand. I mean, you know the game, the five finger fillet. It's uh, it's an old game. You uh, stitch with a knife in between your fingers in this uh, order, and it gets faster each round. Um, the place where you would put your hand, uh, metal uh, conductors were mounted, and they, those were directly uh, connected to the hardware of the computer. Some of them were going to the uh, main, uh, main board, some of them to the graphics board, some of them to the sound board. So, if you started to sweat, uh, your, hand, your hand becomes a conductor, and you disturb the computer that controls the robot. Meaning, you, your fear could, uh, turn, uh, could trigger an error that could in turn hurt you. Uh, the stress was increased, similar like the um, like the brain game that we saw before by sound, because if you're if you were conducting the uh, the contact, um, you had this noisy sound like which made you even more nervous. And maybe one short side story: I showed this piece in uh, Barcelona at a festival, and they actually made me sign a contract that nobody besides me will use it. And at the very moment after the setup was finished, the technical director of the festival approached me and said, can I try it? And I was like, <laughs> no, you can't. I had to sign it, you can't do it. But then I said, okay, if, I, if you tell me on the video that, uh, you are, um, um, that I'm free of responsibility, then you can try. And this is the video. <laughs> and after that, he died. No, I didn't. <laughs> Bloody, <laughs> bloody video. Ah, okay, that's good. Okay. One sec, because this kind of explains it. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> the only one who ever got a scratch was me. Okay. So, uh, using the hand here, okay? Uh, as soon as you want to stop, this is the stop. Okay? Uh, as soon as I press this stop, it will scan your hand. Okay? okay. <laughs> Didn't work. Didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time, our installation didn't work. <laughs> yeah, that's part of the plan. <laughs> They're always breaking. This, this setup, this setup is basically more or less. Yeah. <laughs> more or less. Oh, come on. He looks concerned. Yeah, already. He does. So, this is where it scans the fingers and writes it to a table. Okay. 
Ja. Schade, dass man die Finger nicht sieht. Ja, sorry. If you want to, I keep this, this keeps loading, I'll show you later. Is there any interesting end? Um, well, we not really. <laughs> well, I want to see the speed of it. Ah, uh, you do. Yeah. yeah. I want to see the speed. Okay, so I'll show you later. Um, you want to explain? Uh, this is saving myself. Um, this is a new work. We have a bonsai tree in a, a hermetic uh, uh, what is environment. It environment. Uh, we can control the light and the watering. Mm -hmm. And the plan is to save uh, information into the tree by changing the climate. Because um, you have those annual rings and in uh, spring and in, in, in summer you have those big rings because uh, they get more light and water. And in autumn and in winter, they have uh, less uh, light and less uh, water, so they grow a smaller annual ring. And uh, this is uh, how you can save information into the tree, because it's O or 1 or whatever you call it, yeah? Uh, um, and if I change, if I make uh, two, two seasons of summer, I can save uh, uh, two, two binary... Uh, it's not binary, it's I'd analog. It's analog, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, two O's, yeah. Uh, so may, may I? Huh? May I say something? Yeah, yeah, sure, you can. Um, if I'm in order, in order to, uh, in order to, okay, so the idea is to save 100 <laughs> pixels into a tree. No, no, uh, ten, 10 per 10 pixels. Yeah, 100 pixels is 10 per 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, <laughs> an image per 10 per 10 pixels. So in order to generate uh, four, uh, you can generate up to four rings per year uh, by simulating winter and summer four times a year. More light, more uh, water equals a bigger ring. Um, thereby, the thickest ring defines white and the, thin the thinnest ring defines uh, black. Uh, if you then cut, uh, so by controlling the water and the, and the light, you define the growth and thereby save the image. The image is taken by this camera and then saved to the tree. Of course, this is just a presentation of an idea because even if you save four pixels per year, which is the maximum you can do, uh, it, would take up to, it would take 25 years to save this picture. So what we show is an idea. The next thing is that uh, if, you, if the tree is growing and uh, uh, every, <coughs> every four, four times, four, four, four months, uh, three months, a picture is taken, so it's a time warped image of the tree that is saved into the tree. Did I say something stupid? No. No. <laughs> yeah, I think we just <laughs> didn't manage to explain the point. Yeah, it's it's um, another stupid work. <laughs> so mm. we just jump to the next and last one. Actually, actually, I love this. It is. I mean, M you me can too. show some some some. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you show some pictures, <laughs> yeah, it's a stupid book because uh, most of the works that, that last longer than, than ten years, uh, yeah, they are not so interested. Uh, people, um, people don't want to see this. Huh? They, 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 they don't want to see an installation that lasts ten years or longer. Conceptional, so yeah, it's conceptual. It's difficult to yeah. transport. It's I difficult to get. Thing would be cutting the tree after 25 years. Right? Yeah, you have to exactly. cut it yeah, to, to prove the, uh, if it. Part, not, not annoying part, of course. Eventually, you, it's a new growth, so you can cut it. But you know, it's a bonsai 25 years grow, and you know. So yeah, you have to cut it to, to see if it works yeah. or not. For me, it's a great comment on how we you know, misuse resources nowadays. You can turn it, this into a transmedia ecology project or something. Uh, sure, yeah. I mean, I, I yeah, exactly. I mean, th th that's I, the I, point. I, People I, that I, approach, uh, approach us and say, are you crazy? How, do you, how can you cut a tree after 25 years yeah, just for art? I'm like, come on. You serious? And you mean just for art? <laughs> yeah. You say, what do you mean by that? What do you mean? Yeah. Plus, the, mor yeah, the moral aspect of cutting a tree, I don't know. 
Anyhow, latest project, you can see it out, outside. Um, I mean, actually, we don't have to show the video because it's out it's there. It's out there, yeah. yeah. Uh, we just explained the idea. It's again a closed circuit work, uh, as um, basically all the other works. Um, I guess you know feedback, of course you do. Input is output, output is input. So uh, we, rec uh, we record the uh, projection that is projected onto the wall. And the idea is uh, to create an installation that uh, colors and uh, shapes itself. So we have these uh, 12 uh, elements and they move in depth. Uh, if you project dark, uh, if low light conditions uh, hit it, it moves back. If it's white, it moves out. Uh, this change of movement creates um, shadows and these shadows again... Um, change the video feedback. Exactly, so change the feedback. It's a feedback. Second, second feedback. So the, the work shapes and colors itself until a point where the user comes into play and uh, interferes with the projection or the camera uh, and thereby changing the signal by interfering. So it's the, it's the second time that we built this one up. First we built it up in Bergen and we didn't know if it, it was really working because uh, we haven't tried. We tried it with boxes but not with this one. Yeah. And uh, it could stop or it could be chaotic. It could it, sometimes it's it's just stopping, and and uh, if there's no shadow, it's just it just stops. So, so uh, that was our problem because um, it, I thought that it is chaotic, yeah. and sometimes it fact, is chaotic. But, but it depends fact, on it turn, so many reasons. It depends on the camera, and so, so on. Yeah, it's it's like then you you have a a, a rhythm, yeah, like so it's a, it's not chaotic. Like it's every, a rhythm. Every feedback loop, there should be a pattern. In the exactly. Yeah, exactly. So maybe we finish it. We are the last ones, right? Spela, Spela. What? We are the last ones, right? Yeah. So we can finish this whole symposium outside, and we turn on the the installation and. Yep. Look how long it will last, and then it. <laughs> <laughs> what about the nice video? Ah, the sorry. <laughs> I want to see this guy's face. Jesus, look, that's a face of apprehension. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe to say one thing, I heard a few talks of proper technicians like uh, studying computer science or similar before they did the art study. I didn't have any education in mechanics, engineering whatsoever. Uh, when we built this, Christian was a great help. Um, but as soon as it gets faster, it starts to shake and be not really correct. So, yeah. <laughs> Next time. <laughs>